Kubernetes has dedicated resources to store the configuration values. A resource for storing configuration settings is called a config map, and a resource for storing secret configuration values is named secret. A config map resource can store the configuration values in a, a format of key and value pairs. These values can be consumed or mounted to containers inside a pod, either as environment variables or as files. Let's look at an example of a config map that defines a couple of key pair values. So let's just call it simple config.yaml. So this configuration uh, or config map is called simple config. Uh, we're deploying it uh, into the default namespace and it contains the following data. So it contains the port number, which is the key with the value 8080. It contains a name and a settings.env uh, uh, variable um, or configuration settings, configuration key that contains two other values. So let's create this. So we're going to do kubectl apply minus f simple config. So we've created the config map and now let's describe it and we'll say describe CM. CM is the short name for a config map and we'll do simple config. Now, so you'll, you'll see that this is just a nicer representation or I guess pretty much the same representation as in the YAML. Uh, we have the settings.env key with two values and then we have a name and a port number set here. Now for pod to use these values from this config map, uh, both pod and the config map need to reside in, reside in the same namespace. So if you have your pod and default namespace and your config, na uh, config map in a different namespace, pod will not be able to use that config map. So there are a couple of ways that you can use or mount a config map to a pod and then use these values. So you can either do it as uh, through command line arguments, you can mount it as environment variables or as a file in a read only volume or even through a Kubernetes API that's going to read the config map. So let's create a pod that shows how to uh, consume these values. So I'll create a new file here and we'll call it config config pod1.yaml. Just paste in these values. So what we're doing here is under the env key, so we're setting the environment variables. So the first environment variable that we are setting, uh, we're gonna call it first name, and we're specifying where, where the value is gonna be coming from. So the value it's come is coming from the config map and we're providing the config map key reference. So we're saying the name of the config map, which is simple dash config and the key from that config map, which in our case is the name. And we want to map the value from that key from that config map to this particular environment variable in this container in this pod. Similarly, down here, uh, we're doing it for the port number value. We're specifying the name of the config map, and then we're specifying the key name where the value is coming from. So let's deploy this pod. So let's say kubectl apply config pod1.yaml. And just make sure that the pod is up and running. Okay, and now what we'll do is I'll just execute uh, and get a shell inside that pod. And since we mounted these as environment variables, let's just list the environment variables. And you'll notice the port number environment variable is here and it has the value 8080 that's coming from the config map. And then similarly down here, we have the first name uh, that's coming from the config map as well, and it is mounted as an environment variable inside that uh, container. Now, how about the settings.env key? How can we do that? So let's see how we can mount that, this specific, what looks like a file, let's mount it as a file inside the pod. So let's update the config pod one. And what we'll do here is we will add a volume first. And this volume is where we're going to store or mount the config map to. So we'll say config map. And then name of the config map is simple config. Uh, 
and items that we want to store in that volume, the key is called settings.env. So settings.env maps to this key from the config map. And we want to store this on a path and we'll just say local.env. All right. So we've described this volume, but now we also need to create a volume mount to mount this volume and make it actually available inside of the container. So let's type volume mounts here and we'll just refer to this volume down here by the name, which is config. And we want to mount this path, which is this key or these items under slash, let's say config, and we'll make it read only so no one can change it. Okay, so let's exit here. And what I'll do is I will delete this pod. So I'll delete the config pod. And then I'll just deploy this one again, but this time it will have the volume and it will have that volume mount. Just double check that the pod, it is taking a little bit again to uh, terminate the pods. So let's just do this. Let's just name it dash one. So it's different. So I'll say kubectl apply config pod one. Okay, so I got an error. And let's see what does that mean? And let's see if we can solve it. So unknown field under volume. So I bet what I did wrong is I did not set it at the right level. So let's move it one level here. Actually, the level was correct. This was the problem. It is volumes because you can mount multiple volumes in, uh, in your pods, not just one. There you go. Okay, so this time it worked. So let's look at the pod, kubectl, get pod. So the pod is up and running. So we'll, we'll do the same thing as we did before. So we'll just do kubectl exec minus it config pod one because we renamed it slash bin slash sh. So we're again in the uh, inside of that container. Uh, you'll notice the port number is still here. The first name is still here as well. But now let's look, I'm going to ls again. Notice there's a config folder here. So if we go inside here, you'll notice that there's the local dot uh, ENV file as well. And this is coming from the volume down here. So if we list, whoops, if we cat the show the contents of the file, you'll see that some variable equals file five and another name equals blah. And those are the exact values that we had in our config map. Now the volumes and volume mounts, uh, you don't have to use these for like files only. So let's show an example. Let me exit here. And what I'll do is I'll just remove these environment variables. So we're not mounting those, uh, uh, those keys and environment var variables anymore. But instead, what we'll do is I'll also change this thing here. So I'll say, instead of mounting this specific key under this path, I'll just say, just mount everything, right? So let's mount everything that's in this config map as files. So let's do this. So let's apply config, config pod one dot YAML. Oh, oh, I have to delete the pod, of course. So we'll do kubectl delete pod config pod one. And if this is going to take longer, yep, I'll just rename it to two. So cancel this one out and we'll say kubectl apply minus F uh, config pod one dot YAML, which deploys config pod two. So let's do this. So this one is running. This is the one that we deployed right now. So let's do the same thing as before exec into this config pod two. And let's just do ls config. So note that you don't have to. Uh, get a shell inside that container, you can just run the commands. So notice this time, in addition to settings.env, there's also port number and name, and all these are files now. So if we would uh, show the contents of the name, you will see that it's uh, the value is Ricky, and then port number number is going to be 8080, and then of course settings.env will be the same uh, same values that we had before.
How about if you go and change some uh, values? So let's say we want to change the, we're going to change the port number in the config map. So let's look at that. So let's look at uh, kubectl, get config maps, and then we'll say kubectl, edit config map, simple config. And then we will change the port number from, let's say 8080, we're going to change it to, let's say 3000, right? So let's save it. Now, note that the config map is still mounted inside this pod. This pod is still running. So uh, what Kubernetes does is it's going to automatically update the uh, mounted config maps when they change. So the kubelet is going to periodically check if the config map was updated, and then it's going to set the new value. So let's look at the values again. So config map, config pod two, and then let's just count the port number because that's what we've changed. It's still 8080, but uh, after a little while, this thing will go and change to be 3000. So there you go. It took about a minute or so for uh, for Kubelet to make the change and the port number was actually changed inside the pod. Now, another common thing you wanna do is, just like we mounted all the variables uh, or all the key value, uh, key value pairs from the config map as we mounted them as files, there's also a way that you can mount all of them as environment variables and then specify, let's say a prefix to them. So let's do that. So I'll just remove the volume mounts from here and we'll say we'll create an environment variables from and we'll say prefix is going to be my vars, whatever, and then underscore. And we'll say config map reference. We want the values to come from simple dash config. All right, so this is saved. And uh, let's make sure that we delete the pod. So we'll delete the config pod too. And just like expected, it's gonna take a while. So we'll just do config pod three. So let's apply this file, config pod one, that creates a config pod uh, three. And now let's, uh, let's exec into the pod. So kubectl get pods and we'll do, it's a number three. So we'll do kubectl exec uh, config pod three bin slash bin slash bin slash sh. And now let's look at the environment variables. So notice the my underscore vars was the prefix. So notice the port number environment variable is here. The name environment variable uh, is here as well. And if you look it up here, the my vars underscore settings dot environment is also here. However, the setting or the values are set in a really weird way because it's uh, it's an actual file that has two values, right? So it's multi-line uh, multi input. Now there's also a way where you could um, create config maps using the Kubernetes CLI. So we've been creating it through YAML now. And uh, in some cases that might not necessarily be practical. Uh, like if you think you have, think, think about if you have like an environment variable with 15 or more key value pairs, right? And it doesn't really make sense to copy paste or retype all of those in the YAML file. So that's where you would use the Kubernetes CLI. So there's three different ways that you can create config maps. So you can create key value pairs using the from literal setting. Uh, you can create the key value pairs uh, from an environment file, which would be the equivalent of the settings.env file. In that case, you can say from and file and then specify, let's say settings.env, assuming we had that, uh, uh, we had that file. And finally, you can create a key value pairs from the file name and the file context, uh, uh, contents just using the from file setting. So let's look at the first one where you can use the from literal setting. So let's do kubectl, uh, create config map, and we'll say literal, literal config from literal, and we'll say uh, setting one equals ABC, and then from literal equals blah equals one through three, four, it doesn't really matter. So let's create this config map. And then if we describe it, 
scribe config map literal config. You'll notice that data uh, is set blah is one two three four and setting one is set to uh, ABC. Now the other the other example is where let's say you have a environment variable file. So let's create a file called dev.env for example, and then we would have port five thousand and then service name uh, something and then service URL is going to be HTTP uh, something of course. Uh, so let's save this and to do uh, to create a config map from this file we can use from env file uh, um, flag so let's do that so kubectl create cm and we'll say environment config for example and then from env file equals and the name of the file in our case dev.env so it creates the config map let's describe it and see how it works or how it looks like Describe config map, env config. And you'll notice it's the same, same as it, same as before, and it pretty much takes the uh, takes the key value pairs from this config uh, from this environment file and just creates uh, settings in or key value pairs in the config map. Now the other option is where you have, let's say, config.json file where you're saving or where your config uh, configuration settings are as part of the uh, JSON file. So let's say we have port number and we'll just say service name equals my dash service. So let's say we have those two settings. Uh, uh, in this case, what you can do is uh, you can use the from file option and we'll say config json name our uh, config map and then we'll say from file equals config.json there we go so if we describe this one config json config map config json you'll notice that there's the actual config.json file with with the full contents of the file as the value for that key now uh, this is this is in this case uh, when you have the file like this, uh, it lends itself really well to using volumes, for example, where you would cre create a volume and then just mount this file and use this file directly from a volume.